the trailer. I saw you in the trailer. I said, Kindred Spirits. Yay. That's us right there. So tell me about your character because they already look over it. Wow, okay. So my character is Toby, and Toby knows who he is. He is gay. He is a femme boy. He likes wearing makeup. He likes wearing his little jewelry and his hats and his thing and this and that. And I really feel like Owen Whistler, played by Kevin Bacon, is not feeling him because at least everybody else is a little conflicted, a little quiet, but he's loud and you know very just flamboyant and so they're gonna see if they can break that down now you know black folk we don't like when we see scary things we okay we, run we, the other way we say jesus gotta go. <laughs> gotta go so why do you think that not only having lgbt representation but black lgbt representation is so incredibly important um in spaces like this yeah like literally it just felt first of all the set was so welcoming like nobody felt like a token i didn't feel like a token i felt like you know everything was just so cohesive and i was privileged enough to bring you know a black performance. I'm a black person, so at the end of the day, my performance is going to be a black performance. And I've never <laughs> been into horror as a child. I was afraid of everything. I was running out, you know. But this experience, <laughs> first of all, has given me a little bit of a veil. If I'm watching a horror movie, I'm like, okay, somebody's like standing behind that. It's fun. It's fun. Somebody's standing behind that. Somebody's standing behind that. Um, you know, but I think also I grew as an actor because just tapping into, you know, traumas in your life that's real. There's a lot of intersectionality that I can pull from for my performances that, you know, maybe other people in other movies that maybe might not be as inclusive or whatever don't get to see. So I feel like a lot of people that are straight, a lot of people that aren't black, aren't POC, will be able to to look into this movie and get a perspective that maybe they don't have access to or haven't seen yet. So now I heard that you're not a big fan of horror. You get a little spooked out, I but spooked out. But, but if you had to be dropped into a horror film and you 100% have to come out, final person at the end, what movie are you getting dropped into? Like you have the confidence that you're not going to get. Ooh, okay. No, because I feel like they would get me. I said, okay, so somebody else asked me a similar question. I said Friday the 13th okay. because I feel like I could survive. You know, I feel like if we're doing Nightmare on Elm Street, I'm going to have a nightmare and I'm going to die. Uh, like, I feel like that is happening. If we're doing it, the clown go choose me. He's going to know my fears. He's going to be a spider. I'm not going to like it. Um, but I don't know. Like, if it was a, if it was a toss-up, I would say, like, I really honestly, like, I should think about it. I have to think. I'm going to just say Friday the 13th because I can survive. Or Halloween. That's a good one. I feel like Halloween is kind of you giving know, that. Because he don't really kill black people. He don't. He really don't. I feel like he progressed. Yeah, I like. <laughs> yeah, I like. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, God, sometimes, hey, we've been abandoned in the movies. I would abandon somebody in the movie because, hey, we've been abandoned. So, whatever. Well, I am so excited to watch this movie. I will see you in there. Thank you so much. It was much. so nice meeting you. Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz? You said we used to be a single.